What's good, what's good, what's good? It's your all-time favorite host, Rebuke, man. And welcome back to another edition of the Rebuke All Devils Radio Show. 107.7, home of the truth. And man, I hope everything's been going well with everybody, man. You know, i just been hanging off in here, you know, between working and uploading content. You know, trying to, you know, keep the stories relevant. You know, keep exposing these devils. And uh, on today's show, fam... I don't know how this could have been their bright idea. Idaho mom, son charged with kidnapping for taking teen girl he allegedly raped out of state for an abortion. Thank you, Mark Moore, for bringing us this story. And look at these two little devilish devils right here. Like mother, like son. Wow, made, you know, and it really made me think, why would they want to do that? Other than to, I guess, cover up a crime. But let's get into the details and let's try to find out what was popping. An Idaho woman and her 18-year-old son have been charged with second-degree kidnapping for taking the teen girl he is accused of raping across state lines for an abortion. And that, that go the breaking news right there. Rachel Swanston, 42, and Caden Leo Swanston, 18, of Pocatello, allegedly drove the 15-year-old girl to be in Oregon in May for an abortion. The Idaho State Journal reported, citing the results of a months-long investigation by police in Pocatello. Pocatello. The probe was launched in June when the teen girl's mother told authorities that her daughter had been raped and transported to Oregon for the abortion without the mother's permission, the outlet reported. The girl told police during the interview in August that had been uh, uh, the girl told police during the interview in August that had been involved in a consensual sexual relationship with Caden when he was 17 that continued after he turned 18. They lived together in Swanston's home. So not only did she take somebody's daughter across state lines, man, to have an abortion to kill her baby, but she was letting her, her son molest this girl in her home. She said she had found out that she was pregnant soon after Caden turned 18, remarking that she was happy about it. But Caden was not, she said, and demanded that she get an abortion. Rachel Swanston took the girl and her son to be in Oregon in the rental car on May 18th when an abortion was performed, according to court documents cited by the State Journal. The girl provided police with a copy of the medical paperwork and police obtained phone records for the Swanstons that showed that they had been in Oregon on that date. She also allowed investigators to access her cell phone where they found the video and photos of her and Caden engaging in sex acts. Wow. You cannot make it up. Police searched the home. The girl and Caden shared, and he admitted to having sex with her after his 18th birthday and that his mother took the teen to Oregon for an abortion. Police also found 40 grams of meth in mom's room. Caden was charged with rape, second-degree kidnapping, and three counts of producing child sexual exploitive material, all felonies, court records show. The Idaho State Journal reported his mother was charged with second-degree kidnapping, trafficking in methamphetamine, two counts of possession of a controlled substance, and one count of harboring a wanted felon. The Swanstons were not charged, however, under Idaho's controversial aborting trafficking law signed by Governor Brad Little in April that bans adults from helping minors cross state lines for an abortion without the parents' consent. Offenders face a prison sentence of up to five years. The trafficking law is being challenged by abortion advocacy and civil rights groups who say the law is unconstitutional and violates a person's Fourth Amendment right to freely travel between states. To travel freely between states. Idaho has one of the strictest abortion laws in the nation, banning the procedure in almost all cases except rape and incest. But abortion remains legal in Oregon and Washington, Idaho's western neighbors. Well, man, I tell you what, with the list of charges that those two devils got, man, it sounds like they're going to be in jail for a while. And uh, and that dude right there, he's going to have to 
uh, register whenever whenever he finally make it up out of jail. But I just don't understand how a mother will allow her son to be molesting any child, let alone in, under the roof of your house. I just I don't even understand, you know, what kind of decisions you're making. Or maybe the methamphetamine played a role in that. But what y'all think, man? Drop them comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Peace.